Thank you, Alan. First and foremost, a wonderful day. Good morning, good afternoon to all friends from around the world. I'm so grateful and uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be with you. This is a phenomenal event. Uh, I'm so grateful for the team, for Chris, for Alan, for facilitating this. And there's so much learning and so much goodness throughout the day. So with that, I want to get going with our session on five steps to transform employee experience with Microsoft Viva. Uh, some of you may already be familiar what this technology is. Some of you maybe not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a big picture overview of what this technology is all about, the benefits, and most importantly, walk you through five important steps on how you can uh, maximize it for your organization. Everything we're talking about today is recorded, and I'll make sure I'll share this uh, PowerPoint and also other resources I show once we're done. Okay. So we all know, uh, especially in the last year, what's quite important to, for organizations to thrive and grow is the people, right? One of the uh, key areas that Microsoft has invested a lot is a research in this area that in the last year, while technology is great to do remote work, um, there's been a lot of impact to people and organization. These are just some of the stats in, in research that when companies invest in their people and the focus on improving employee experience, they can directly see the correlation on how a company grows and thrives. In fact, there was a research that came out just last week around the impact of working from home and productivity. And in essence, this research talks about for companies that not only invested in technologies, but also invested in making sure that uh, the, the employee experience is top notch, uh, shows better resilience, especially as the world is coming back. Now, what are the elements to great employee experience? As a part of this research at Microsoft Commission, there are six key areas and six key elements. One is the idea of well being, right? Where people feel safe at work, physically, mentally, and emotionally. I know throughout the pandemic, on one hand, there's really not much to do because we can't go out. On the other hand, we spend all those time, most of us at least, working. And you and I can agree this is not the, the healthiest of them all. So one area that employees are looking for is to be an organization where well-being is highly prioritized and employers are thinking about how to make sure that people in the organization are, are taken care of. Second is the idea of connection. People want to belong, right? So uh, a lot of organizations, and later I'll share what we're doing uh, within that point, is pushing and making sure that we foster not only an environment of inclusion, but we want to make sure people belong. And this is something I talk about to a lot of customers and, and uh, organizations is when you think about things like diversity, inclusion, very important, but the most important aspect is the idea of belonging. And that's where you get that connection. That's where you feel comfortable. That's where you feel that you're trusted. A good analogy of this is, you know, when, when I uh, uh, think about diversity, inclusion, and uh, well-being, or, or uh, diversity, inclusion, and belonging, is diversity is the idea that, look, you got invited to a party, for example, right? So in that party, you see a lot of different people, different friends. So that's diversity. Inclusion is while you're in that party, you're asked to dance. So now as a part of that um, uh, party, you're asked to dance, you're being included, which is great. And then belonging is you're so comfortable now, you're connected that you're, you're dancing like nobody's watching. So that's the idea of belonging and getting connected. Focus is the ability to track and know what your North Star and what your success looks like. Empowerment is the ability for you to take the lead and take action, make decisions. Uh, growth is you have a clear picture of your trajectory in the organization. And finally, purpose, where you're part of something bigger. Uh, it can be if your goal is to be a part of a company that's thriving and growing and making a lot of money, it's great. Or if your goal is to be a part of an organization that's making a, an impact to the broader community, that's, that's equally as good as well. So these are some of the six key elements of employee experience. And to fulfill all this, while 
on one hand, the research shows what the needs and what people are looking for. On the other hand, how can organizations ful help fulfill these things and make it happen? And this is where what's called an employee experience platform comes in. What this is, is the ability to take a lot of these key elements of what employees are looking for and kind of tie it together to create a culture where employees are engaged and uh, leaders are on top of it as well. Today, organizations spend over 300 billion for employee experience for different things, be it technology or programs or training. And as digital tools become much, much more important because this would be the glue to offer this phenomenal employee experience, uh, a lot of business leaders are reevaluating and thinking about, okay, how do we seriously invest in this and make it happen? And this is the great news around Microsoft 365. Uh, I was speaking with Jeff Tieper, who did a keynote earlier today, uh, a few weeks ago on a podcast, and I'll share that link in a second, where he talked about this concept of an employee experience platform started when the pandemic hit last year. In fact, the idea of Viva didn't come about until they noticed within Microsoft the impact, the toll uh, it had on Microsoft employees. So along with Jared Spatero and Jeff Tieper and the team, they work with experts and thought about how can we further uh, the culture of Microsoft and provide a great experience and, and have a technology platform that allows them to do so. Because solutions out there are fragmented. While this is nothing new, there, there, sure, there are solutions out there, but there are you know, fragmented solutions, a point solution here, point solution there that companies still need to jerry-rig and put together. So with that, uh, Microsoft came up with the platform Microsoft Diva. So the way you think about Microsoft Diva is an employee experience platform. Today, there are four key uh, capabilities or modules, as you, uh, you can call it, that puts employees in the center. And the beauty of Microsoft Viva, it's not a brand new technology. It's not like you have to uh, start from the ground level up. It's built on top of Microsoft 365. A lot of the technologies we already use and love and are familiar with, things like Yammer and Teams and SharePoint, analytics are, are all working together through the help of AI capabilities and Microsoft Graph. So it, you can provide this awesome experience for your employees leveraging uh, the investment you already have. So with that being said, here's what I wanna do. I wanna walk through the five key steps on how you can elevate employee experience with Microsoft Viva. And I'm gonna show some demos and a lot of these are screenshots later, I'll show a video in the interest of time, but you can kind of get a good idea of how all this would work together. First things first, is what makes Viva unique, right? Like I already said, Viva is built on top of Microsoft 365. So you're taking advantage of all the goodness around security, around compliance, authentication, and you're not throwing away anything that you're already doing today. In fact, it complements it and extends it. Uh, it works hand in hand with Teams. So I'm sure like you, we all live and breathe, breathe in Teams today. And uh, Teams is a core part of Microsoft Viva, where all the experiences would surface within Microsoft Teams. And the good news is Microsoft is continuously investing this platform, while certainly there are four key modules and four key capabilities that Viva offers today. It's not to say that's gonna stop there. So how can you improve employee experience with Viva? Um, Step one is Microsoft Viva can help you promote your internal culture and facilitate better communications. You know, the challenge today is, especially with remote work, people are feeling more siloed. In fact, I'm sure a lot of you would agree, especially with new employees that just onboarded. Uh, kudos to all the people team and HR team. You know, everybody's doing their best and a lot of companies are doing a fantastic job in getting people connected and uh, getting people on board organizations. But it's still not the same. 
it's not the same as when you walk into the office, you hear the buzz going and people talking after work or after meetings. You just don't get that uh, in a remote work environment. So what uh, Viva can offer through what's called Viva Connections, it can help you uh, promote and facilitate better culture and communications through multiple ways. First and foremost, Viva Connection relies on multiple existing technologies. It relies on uh, SharePoint, for example. So for a lot of us here who's been using SharePoint as our internet portal, and you've seen Microsoft's investment and in continuous innovation around SharePoint, um, Viva can take advantage of your portal in SharePoint and use that as your knowledge repository and your hub for information to continue to showcase and share with everybody else. Uh, second, you can make it easy for people to contribute. Uh, apart from SharePoint, it also takes advantage of Yammer. Now, some companies or some of you may not be using or may not be familiar with Yammer. Yammer is a great platform to drive cultural engagement and uh, company connection. The way I think about Yammer is Yammer is kind of like your cafeteria where, you know, at lunch, you go to the cafeteria, you meet people, you talk, you catch up, uh, regardless of what department it is. And that's what Yammer can foster. Now, in the past, you know, there's SharePoint where you have all your knowledge and corporate information, your portal, your HR policy, and then you have Yammer where all the engagement and communication and communities live through Viva, it unites all of this. So let me show you this experience with Viva Connections as a part of the Viva platform. So this is the Viva app or Viva Connections app, I should say, within Microsoft Teams. And the beauty of Viva Connections is you can make it your own and you can brand it as your own. So in this example, notice that it says Relic Cloud. Uh, it's, it's the name of the company. It doesn't even show up as Viva Connections. So you can kind of create your custom app, your company's app through Viva Connections. You give it a name. And, and the experience here is essentially a SharePoint uh, home site, right? So not only is it available through Teams, and because it's available in Teams, it's available on the web as well. Uh, it's available on mobile devices too. And we know that mobile is important and there's a mobile app coming for Viva Connection. Now, what we're seeing here is not only uh, SharePoint pages, but notice some of this uh, conversations and scrolling. You see all the conversation and communities that's going on. Guess what? This is powered by Yammer. And in addition, apart from uh, SharePoint and Yammer, you can also, through the power of uh, SharePoint web parts, you can get different content and signals. Uh, it could be enriched with Microsoft Wrap to make sure that the right information gets to the right people wherever they work, whatever device that they use. Um, and in this other scenario, you can also have what's called a dashboard. We all know that information is a lot for a lot of people throughout the organization. Uh, as a part of Viva Connection, you can add personalized news feeds and it gives you a personalized dashboard as well. This dashboard is a single destination for all the helpful company resources and tools that you may want to offer your employees. And notice some of these tools may have been created in Power Apps or it could be a custom app or some other system within your organization you can bring all that in to Viva Connections. And I'll show you an example later on of how you can uh, tap into external technologies uh, and bring it in to Viva. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we can also bring in other Viva uh, capabilities. So again, this is Viva Connection, but we can bring in Viva Insights, where if you're using uh, Headspace for daily meditation, or we can bring in Viva Learning, which I'll talk about as well. So a lot of these things just make it easy and make it seamless to provide information and drive culture and connection to the rest of your colleagues in your organization. Now, some of you may be wondering, is Viva Connection part of my license uh, subscription for Microsoft 365? Yes, Viva Connections come with it. 
Um, right now, if you want to roll out Viva Connection for Microsoft Teams, there's instructions online, which I've put in this PowerPoint, and I'll share this on how you do this. But long-term vision is it'll be available in the Teams App Store and also on your mobile devices. Uh, soon enough, the uh, Viva Connections app will be available as well for, for people to download. So as you can see, the experience is very rich. It brings in all the different pieces that you already have. So if you're already using Yammer and SharePoint, uh, this is good news. You can hook it all up and start um, taking advantage of Viva Connections. And then as you introduce advanced capabilities, like again, that personal dashboard or adding other types of web parts to showcase relevant information, you can uh, continue to build that onto your, your uh, Viva Connection implementation, your organization. So that's the first step to transform employee experience by promoting uh, your culture and um, facilitating connection within your organization through Viva Connections. Next, uh, with Viva Platform, you can help facilitate productivity and well being as well. And this is done through Viva Insights. Uh, this research from the recent pandemic, you know, 70% of employees reported higher stress levels and 40% are experiencing decreased mental health. And, and certainly this is not something to take lightly. Viva Insights as a part of the overall Viva platform addresses this issue uh, because it essentially provides visibility into how work is happening and the impact of productivity and well-being to employees in your organization. Uh, Viva Insights is not uh, a brand new technology. It takes advantage of uh, my analytics and uh, uh, a lot of the insights that it captures. Some of you may be already using my analytics, and it just helps improve well being and work through several mechanisms, including coaching and nudging employees to carve out time to uh, take mindfulness breaks. In fact, one of the cool partnerships that Microsoft did is with Headspace. If you're not familiar with Headspace, it's an awesome meditation technology. There's apps for it, and you can bring it into Viva Insights as well. And if you're wondering about privacy, right? All the personal insights are only available to you. And managers, leaders, organizations get generalized insights, but it's not going to be very specific to the person as it gets anonymized for the organization. So. What does this look like? So let's uh, kind of walk through what Viva Insights look like. Similar to Viva Connections, there's an app in Microsoft Teams. In fact, this app is already available today. So you go to the Teams store, look for Viva Insights, and uh, you can download it as long as your organization allows for it. You can uh, make it as a part of your Teams, and you can see Viva Insights where it can give you uh, a good overview on how you spend your time, people you work with. It's like having a life coach helping you to be your best and uh, how you make the most out of your time at work. Now, if we look at, for example, our focus plan, right? It shows where focus time is set or how many days it's set for. If you're not familiar with this, uh, I did a video on Stala who's in this session uh, did, did a whole YouTube series on Pomodoro technique. And one of the contributions I did was a video on how to use focus time. And I'll share that as well. But focus time is great. It's essentially being able to block out time in your calendar to do focus work. Because oftentimes in our calendar are all meetings, right? We don't block out or carve out time to do uh, deep work or focus work. Um, then as you can see, there's the learning time, which takes advantage of Viva learning as well. And then there's Headspace. Uh, Headspace is really cool. If you haven't used it, you can actually use it for uh, daily meditation or if you just need to take a quick breathing break, Headspace can help. And then even with virtual commute, it'll remind you, you can set parameters and say, hey, it's five o'clock, let's do your virtual commute. You can go out and take a walk or, or take a break from work. You can certainly do so. So these are just some of the high level capabilities. And at the same time, just like Viva Connections, it's available for mobile with Viva Insights. It just reminds you on 
uh, how you spend your day or things you should be doing and how you can have your, your mental breaks throughout the day. And then for managers, the Insights app has the My Team view. This delivers aggregated, anonymized insights to make sure uh, privacy is protected while empowering managers to foster a healthy and successful team. So you can see all this, right? Um, it can give you stats across your team and different employees. Uh, we can also see uh, recommendations on based on how your team is performing. It can say, hey, here are some tips on how you can help your team unplug, for example. Then it also shows you your entire organization and how you compare, right? how the entire uh, company is doing. It sheds lights on workplace trends, for example, or, or a network analysis on how people are working together or not. Uh, what else do we have? And then it takes advantage of Power BI uh, because what you can also do with Insights is you can tap into data from other apps like Zoom or Workday or SAP Success Factors, which uh, a lot of organizations use this more from an HR perspective. So you can combine all this data with Viva Insights to get a better picture of how everybody's doing. And especially as you go back to work in a hybrid environment, you can help plan for those as well. There you go. Thank you, Stala, for, for that uh, answer for Laura. Thank you. Uh, this is a new dashboard for uh, relationship between well-being and collaboration. So you can start looking into trends as well uh, on, on people working by themselves versus working as a team and how they are with, with their well-being and how they spend their time. Uh, and then it also help you under, helps you understand current work patterns. And just like what I've shared earlier, again, it protects all the personal privacy. So we talked about the first two steps, right? Number one is Viva through Viva Connections it can help drive culture and connection across organization where you can surface relevant company information and uh, have people connect and talk to each other. Second is uh, facilitate productivity and well-being through Viva Insights. Third is we can help expand knowledge and expertise. And as we all know, information overload is something we're all suffering from. Uh, we spend a lot of time just looking for stuff. So what Microsoft has done with Viva, through the help of Viva Topics, this is taking advantage of all the work Microsoft has done with Project Cortex. And the idea is to turn content into usable knowledge. And it's really taking advantage of AI to understand the content you have. When I say content, obviously it respects permission, but understand the content you have across the platform and it can automatically identify, process, tag, organize it into bite-sized usable knowledge. Uh, it organizes this in what's called topic pages and then it makes it discoverable and useful across the different Microsoft 365 suite of technologies. Now, how does it work? So similar to what we saw earlier with Viva Connections and Viva Insights, uh, Viva Topics actually not only is available in Teams, but pretty much it's available across Microsoft 365. So in this scenario, right, or looking at uh, you know a chat or a, a Teams conversation, and notice that the word "soar" is highlighted. Now, this is what we call uh, a topic, and then I can click on it and it gives me a topic card. Uh, this essentially gives me a summary of what I need to know about SOAR, and we all know that in our organizations, we have our own little acronyms, but this provides a better context, as especially for those not familiar with what SOAR is. So this way, it's contextual. I don't have to go out and look for it like, like today, right? That's some of the issues we deal with where there's a chat or there's a PowerPoint document or even an email and there's some code in there. I don't know. Then I have to go figure out what it is. With this, you don't have to. With Viva Topics, it shows up. And um, if you want to know more, you can click on the details 
then the topic page shows with more details around this topic, which is SOAR. And the, the topic page not only includes basic definition, but it can show all the relevant and related documents, conversations in this case, like Q&A on Yammer, et cetera. And as it learns more, as everybody shares more, the uh, topic page uh, gets enriched further and behind the scenes, it's AI that, po that powers all these things. Uh, so yeah, so even all the Q&A that, that, for example, people may have, right? So when you have a question about a topic, just ask. And here's something that I love. Automatically, Viva Topics, um, powered by AI, will either answer it or it will tag the right people for you. This is huge. I mean, we as an organization, we use Yammer a lot. And sometimes when people ask questions, they don't know who to ask. I have to manually go in there and tag the right people. With Viva Topics, it will take care of it automatically. Um, it uses AI to build these topic pages automatically. However, you can also uh, update it and tweak it and create these manually as well. So if you go to your uh, Viva Topics home, it also has a customizable topic center. Uh, this gives you a personalized view of all the topics across your organization. And people see only topics and resources that they're allowed to. So again, respects permission if there's anything that's, you know, confidential for a specific group, then only that group will get to see those topics. Um, you can manage your uh, uh, topic center. And when you go there, you can see what's published. You can take stuff off. So like here in the bottom, it just has all the different topics that was either created automatically or manually, and then you can manage it from there. Um, the other part with topics, we go through all this, uh, we, we, we looked at all this from uh, Microsoft Teams, but it's also available in Outlook and SharePoint. Meaning if you're in Outlook, for example, if this was an email and your email has the word SOAR, same idea, you mouse over the topic and then the topic card would show up within Outlook or within your email. So this is the third step on how you can transform um, employee experience. It's the ability to better share knowledge uh, across the organization. The fourth step to transform employee experience is encouraging skill development and personal growth. Uh, we all know that upskilling is top of mind for a lot of organizations especially with uh, battle of talent today. Uh, one of the articles I read the other day too is the idea that once the world comes back, people go back to work. There's a lot of people looking to work elsewhere because people feel like that they, they need to upskill themselves and take a better, a new challenge. And that's something that that's important to a lot of employees. So this survey done by PricewaterhouseCooper shows that 79% 70, of CEOs are concerned with the lack of essential skills in their workforce. So based on this research, PWC's recommendations upskilling workforce is a very, very important uh, uh, part of every organization strategy as they go back to work. So with Microsoft Viva, they have the fourth module, which is Viva Learning. And the purpose of Viva Learning is to enhance upskilling and personal development. And the idea is to make learning as a part of everybody's day. And this is surfaced through Microsoft Teams as well. The beauty of this is it enables you to make all of your learning content available in one place. When I say learning content, it could be homegrown learning. It could be uh, from external learning providers, such as LinkedIn Learning, uh, Pluralsight, and uh, it also tracks what the results look like. So for example, this is Viva Learning and uh, the app is coming to the team store. So as you can see, Viva Learning is just organizing cards. And notice that in this screenshot, it says assigned to you. So this is something that as a team, as an organization, you can provide recommended courses to your colleagues or team members. 
uh, content can be internal or external. So some of these are from LinkedIn. Notice this, some of these are internal. And notice that there are dates as well, meaning once it's assigned, right, you can have due dates when the training should have been taken. So some people are asking me, is this a full on LMS? Not quite. It's not a full on learning management system like a lot of us are familiar with, with our uh, corporate training or, or if you've been doing online learning. However, it's, it's uh, a step in the right direction to consolidate all the learning. Certainly, there's other technologies that can work hand in hand with Viva Learning to make it a full blown LMS. But right now, it's not an LMS. It's essentially a, a, a learning center that uh, shows up in Microsoft Teams as a part of Viva. Uh, yeah, so this is just showing a sample training from uh, LinkedIn Learning that surfaced in Viva Learning. And then the other part is since it's in Microsoft Teams, obviously it works hand in hand with all the other capabilities. So uh, it's easy for people to find, share, and discuss what they've learned. You can surface it in chat, in conversations, bring it into a, a channel within a team. Um, and, and that's the beauty of having everything in your one-stop shop. Uh, in this example, we have a tab added to a uh, channel where it just shows all the learning content that's a part of this project. How's everything so far? If you have questions, feel free to pop in the chat. Um, feel free to speak up. And if you have anything else that you're wondering about, I'll be more than happy to address it as well. So just to make sure that uh, uh, you don't forget that. OK, so next. Um, this is one of the cool things is part of the assignment, especially within the team, let's say a project team or your department, is you can look at uh, where everybody's at as a part of their learning. And we can assign the training to individuals or group of people and also track their completion. So one of the beauty of this is as it's part of Teams, it's deeply integrated. You can make this as a part of your culture. So for example, uh, one of the things we're looking at as an organization is once we fully deploy Viva, is this will be part of a daily um, activity that we do as a team, like 10 minutes, you know, learn from this topic or that topic. OK, so we talked about the first four steps on how to transform employee experience with Viva. Uh, again, number one is we help promote culture and connection through Viva Connections. Uh, second is um, uh, we can help share, uh, not in specific order, but share knowledge with uh, Viva topics. Uh, through Viva Learning, we can help upskill and growth. And uh, so we get connections, Viva topics, Viva Learning. And then the, the other one's Viva Insights, right? So we can keep track of people's health and well being uh, as they contribute to the organization. Lastly, step five, right? Is through Viva, we can enable inclusion, diversity, equity, and allyship. Now, how do we do that? So a lot has changed in the last year, right? So even as we, we start going back to work, how we work will be permanently transformed by this pandemic. Uh, many organizations have adapted this, this remote or hybrid model, but all this and all the other change around us has demanded unprecedented resilience from everybody in the organization. Every employee is grappling with, uh, you know, how to make this new world of work more sustainable. Because more sustainable for everybody means that uh, it's healthier for the organization. And many of us are realizing that in order to sustain and to be resilient, we have to enable people and organizations to continuously adapt for what's next. So the essential elements of resiliency are community, belonging, and social participation. Essentially what I talked about early on, right? Around inclusion and building a culture of diversity. So how can we further do this with Viva? So let me kind of quickly show you and share examples of what we're doing internally. So first off, I'm gonna pop in the chat. Give me a second here. I'm gonna type in the chat. 
our thinking. Uh, give me one second. Here you go. So I last year I wrote a blog post or two years ago now, a year and a half, on how we think about inclusion, diversity, equality, and allyship. So as a company, this is top of mind for us. Um, what we did is we took our approach to inclusion, diversity, equality, and allyship and use technologies like Microsoft 365 to make sure we further uh, what we do. So in this example, this is one of the mock-ups we have as we're rolling out Viva Connections is we're taking our, first and foremost, our internet, which is called the point. And um, in the point, uh, it has all the resources for our employees, but we're bringing all the elements that can help bind us as an organization. So for example, we're doing our global movement challenge from everybody around the world. We encourage everybody to, uh, uh, to run and we have a contest. And then our town hall, recent town hall is brought in through Microsoft Stream. Uh, our latest news around us going public. And then we also have our Yammer feeds as well throughout our different offices show up. So if you look at this, right, by, by being able to consolidate and bring it in one place through Viva Connection uh, can certainly help better communicate and promote uh, inclusive environment. And then the other thing we also realize is as a company, we have a lot of custom things that we do to help uh, upskill and onboard and promote inclusion with our organization. While Viva Connections, Insights, Topics, and Learning are great, there are things that's not there that's unique to us. So instead of uh, starting from scratch and figuring out how to build it in, uh, Microsoft built Viva in a very flexible way so we can plug other things into it. So let me let me talk to you about a very specific example. So one example we had is we onboard a lot of customer support folks. So our customer support folks, their responsibility is to take calls from our customers when they call in for uh, uh, help around our products. And as you may imagine, if you work in support, you need to learn a lot of stuff. You need to learn about Microsoft. You need to learn about AppPoint products. And after a period of time, we need to track and measure if whatever they're learning is effective or not, right? So we, on a regular basis, we, we do evaluation and exams, but the frequency of how we need to do this is, is just a lot. And we're not a, a massive organization where we have dedicated, you know, people creating tests or, or people uh, uh, administering all this test. So we need to automate all this. So what we've done is we use uh, Microsoft Turing, one of their AI models and through Teams and also we're gonna integrate with Viva Learning is to facilitate this automated AI driven way of uh, uh, creating exams and people taking exams. So check out this video on what we did. At AppPoint, AI at scale is unlocking new opportunities for innovation. We can now examine any business challenge and not only solve pain points, but also reimagine our entire approach. One example is employee onboarding. We offer 24 seven customer support and our business is growing fast. Keeping up with the speed of innovation and absorbing new knowledge every day is a challenge. It's also tough to gauge if employees are retaining the most relevant information. But with AI at scale, We've created a personalized learning experience for each team member. Customizing the Microsoft Turing model, we've been able to extract the critical knowledge across product guides, release notes, support case histories, and all kinds of unstructured data like text and videos. That massive amount of knowledge is what makes us unique. It's our DNA. And now we can make sure that our employees have that knowledge. We can automatically generate learning and testing materials personalized for every employee on demand. And finally measure how well we're keeping our people up to date with the latest knowledge. That's huge. And this is only the beginning. The possibilities behind AI at scale are sparking new ideas for innovation every day. Not only are we reimagining our solutions, but we are uncovering new opportunities to serve our customers in a more powerful way. We can't wait to see where the future of AI at scale will take us. So, 
so because of this work, because of this work we've done, uh, we were featured at the last Ignite. But really, this goes to show the power of the Microsoft 365 platform, where we're using this today. Essentially, it's not only for customer support, all other parts of the business is you can put any content you want uploaded to this uh, platform and it will auto generate exams relevant to that person and it would check it as well. It's going to be integrated with Viva Learning and is a part of the broader employee experience capabilities of Microsoft Viva. So friends, hopefully this was beneficial to you. You've got, you've got a good perspective, an overview of Microsoft Viva. Uh, I, I would love to answer any questions you may have. And also, I encourage you to uh, connect with me. I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, and there's my website. I would love to hear from you. And, and again, if you come across any questions, even beyond this uh, event, don't be a stranger. Make sure you hit me up.